All right, before we get into the anything of anything, guys, I want to give a big shout-out to Snoot, who's apparently streaming today. So is True, and I don't know if any other folks are uh, streaming their matches, but definitely make sure to check Team Liquid out and give them a, a looky-loo, because we might not be covering their matches, but you'll be able to see what's going on. And, uh, well, welcome to the Elimine League. It's the first match of the day, and I just realized that uh, Demi Lovato's on Arthur's team. <laughs> but it's not like the jumpstick. It's this weird little dude. What is this? Oh, I I don't I know I've seen it before, but I have no idea where from. I know it's like it's one of those stupid meme things. You're just like I know it's, it's I've seen it, but I ah. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, spawning here in the top left corner of the map, playing for Team Chicken. <laughs> it's Seol Hyun, uh, better known as Demi Lovato. The bottom right as the yellow Zerg. It's Hora for MVP. Didn't, uh, what team did Horror used to be on? It was, uh... I Am, maybe? Yeah, I think it was I Am. Man, it's been a while since I've seen Horror do really anything. I remember yeah. that when we tried to recruit some folks for the very first TV2 tournament, I think it was Arthur... No, no, it was Seed who wanted to play with Horror, but then Seed slept in because he thought it was 10 uh, p.m. instead of 10 a.m. So, we almost had a chance to see Horror in recent days, but, uh, denied! So this is a best of one, right? I'm fairly sure that this is round two, best of threes. <clears throat> Challenge is best four. of one for this bracket. No, this is a round two match, zombie gerb. Oh, that's right, I thought we were doing Lictor versus Gumiho. We, ju we literally just <laughs> introduced the players! I know, but yeah, of course, right? <laughs> but I still got it, like, you know, mixed up. The pain Man, in I'm your finger is one. affecting your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess. Uh, well, so there's only five maps in this map pool, right? Which is completely different from yesterday with the Lycan League. Yeah, actually, polar opposite. Lycan League, which has three extra maps, this one has two less maps than normal. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I mean, she got rid of like the ones that I guess people like. She like asked like uh, Olivia, or Olivia, pff, that is asked like I think her, uh, you know. The Axiom guys, and I guess a couple other pro gamers, like what maps they don't want in the map pool, I believe. And uh, I guess she got rid of like the two that they hated most, but I still feel like... Well, I'm not sure what the process is, but I know for a fact a lot of it was what? to remove the ones that people were vetoing anyways. Like, Foxtrot Labs gets axed immediately because nobody picks it. And then thing. brought back. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm talking for the Illumina League more than anything else, but yeah. Well. So it's... I, I, I don't know what the selection is, but I do know that we've been in talks with Holy Moly about trying to um, provide the prize pool to create a, a map tournament for the Holy Moly specifically. So, I mean, you'll have your standard four ladder maps and then like one special Holy Moly map type thing. Uh, or Holy Moly map, I guess. I don't know what you'd want to call it, but uh, that's still kind of like up in the air. We have to discuss it and figure out how we're going to go about it. But it's just something we've definitely, like, make it certainly be so cool to have like this one map that was like uniquely ours, you know? Yeah, I mean, unless someone takes it, I don't think we can, like, copyright it. <laughs> well, no, but I, I, to start, it's unique. Like, it's so good that the Battle.net ladder gets updated for the next season. That's not a bad thing, right? Because it's a good map. I suggested that they use the Dream Pool for next season, and, and Sion said that he was going to talk about it with his higher-ups. Yeah, so. Sion is really good at accepting <laughs> bad ideas. Uh, for context on this, he, he heard me complaining about overgrowth on a particular stream, as I often do, and... Uh, <laughs> He said, we should make a tournament. Ooh, actually, I'll finish the story in a second. We got uh, drones being cut. Looks like uh, Demi Lovato's going to try and go for a bit of an all-in here. But Bailing Nest on the other side of the map for horror is up and running. So, well, he doesn't have Bailings initially for this, I think he should be okay. Because he, sh he should see this coming, right? The Overlord spread should see this. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, we the first one saw it. And that's almost always guaranteed. Uh, and he has one almost... There we go. Uh, Okay, yeah, but I would just like the Overlord for Horror to be, like, closer to his main base, so he sees when Demi Lovato, like, just, just go ahead and puts the, uh, you know, makes the Banelings. You want to know if they're making 20 Banelings or 3, right? Mm, yeah, exactly. And he doesn't really know right now. Well, uh... Ooh! So, not sure if he's gonna run into that or not. I was a little bit worrisome with these Banelings. Yeah. Two is not a bad trade either. Of course, he's got to fall back. Horror, that is. Uh, David Lovato did start droning a little bit behind this, so not continuing to go super all in, recognizing, hey, my opponent was ready for this. Yep. Uh, it also goes for a lair. Maybe we're going to see Mutas. Uh, horror, you know, it's up to him to decide what he's going to do now, right? Like, he's, he maybe counterattacks a very slight amount. See some links in the production tab. 
Okay, that's more than just some Ling. It's 14 more Lings. So I guess the counterattack's gonna be for realsies. And you know what? Stimulato doesn't have any more Bane Lings. He's morphing them in now, but he spent a lot of gas on that lair. He spent a lot of drones getting all those uh, those gas geysers. And the spine crawler's not quite done. Yeah, I, I think with some good bailing control, though, I mean, this should be manageable. Uh, still, that's a lot of bailing coming in. I take that back, actually. I didn't realize Horror already had it before. I just thought it went into the production tab. That's a lot of bailings! <laughs> no matter how you cut this, that's a lot of freaking bailings. Yeah, I mean, Devil Little saw it, though, so he's going to try his best to I, my, micro get the spine crawler, try and get good trades with his own bailings. I mean, so far, so good with taking down the bailing count, but I had to deal with the ling count. Oh, oh, well, apparently oh, you just have oh, oh, oh. horror run into your own banelings. That's how you deal with it. Yeah, that went pretty good. <sighs> uh. All right, well, the trading for this still isn't going to get much better from this point on. It's still going to be very... Oh, if he sends one banelings back, that could, that could have traded out really well. Three for those three. Maybe not a bad choice. Takes out the uh, building as well, but still a messy fight that's not over yet. Both players still going for a lot of zerglings behind this. No trying to oh. take a third. Gets on top of the queen. Nice pick off. I mean, Demolar is doing a really great job holding, and Horror is getting, you know, he's pretty much all in. He does try and get a lair, but uh, actually, if he had waited like another minute, I would say like, it's, this is all in. But with the lair coming down now, I guess he might be okay to go into a macro oh. game. If he goes for his own mutas, though, I think that would be a big mistake. Man, if he had just waited like a couple seconds with those families, he would have uh, gotten all of them. Now he's got to dodge that last one or two, and he's so volatile. Good control out of Horror so far. Almost gets another queen, does get another queen. I definitely wouldn't say this is spiraled just yet, but this is definitely him gaining ground every time he gets in here. He picks off a queen, picks off a spine crawler, picks off more banelings. Uh, Horror really feels like he's got control of the fight so far, despite the fact that he is really far behind in the resource. <laughs> Pardon me, resources lost. Uh, a lot of banelings, but more if they're just links. There are links covering the main ramp, so never once has Horror really been able to get into that main and cause a lot of havoc. I think that was a real dedicated move too to try and squeeze up that. I I don't know if I agree with that or not, but uh, last two banelings do more. A couple more lanes coming across the map for this. These are gonna get a great bailing hit, actually. That's some last minute uh, miscontrol on that. Now, the mutas are coming out for Demi Lovato, and Horror right now, I mean, his lair finished. He's gonna get 11 more drones, and then he's he's gotta go into Roaches. But now his third's gonna be late, and it's kind of hard to get a third when you uh, you don't have any sport crawlers on for your mutas. But yeah. actually, he goes for a spire as well. I don't know. It's gonna be so much later. I think it's only going to be later. Well, like, where's his gas for this? Yeah, I mean, he took three, which is why I was like, okay, Roaches, then now I took the fourth. Uh, I mean, it, it just. Demi Lotus is going to have, like, the map control, so his third should be faster. Like you said, getting your own third when you don't have. Yeah, there we go. Wow, so Demi Lovato, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to take game number one. All right, so.